Fancy a trip to the south of France or further afield? Then get yourself a tourer. These immense machines will go for miles at speed while you enjoy the scenery as it flies by. But do they look and perform in a satisfactory manner? A tourer really will perform in line with a lot of um, a lot of your performance bikes or sports bikes. The CC starting from probably 800 CC, going up to sort of 1300 CC. So you don't really lose uh, an awful lot of that performance. And with a sports tourer, you've more often than not got the handling and the comfort as well. The sports tourers now are becoming like more of a performance bike, but you can stick the wife and panniers on the back. Performance-wise, they do what you'd expect them to do and eat up the miles. The more sport-based tourers can be fun to thrash. And as for styling, that varies quite a bit in this class. They range from not bad to bland to what the hell were they thinking? You can actually take the panniers off and you can go for a, a good blast on a Sunday and then should you want the next weekend to go out and tour around England on it, then you can just bolt the panniers off and away you go. They are very much dual purpose bikes. These bikes are built for all day riding, so yes, they are as comfy as a two-wheeled vehicle moving at speed can be. Cushy seat, upright riding position and big fairing to keep the wind off your bumps, they're about as comfy and as practical as a bike can be. But will they leave you stranded by the side of the autobahn? The bikes are set up, especially the Tour is for doing for covering uh, big distances. So the bikes are all keyed in so that uh, they are very low maintenance. Um, so that when you are traveling around Europe, you don't have a niggling worry that the bike isn't gonna hold up and it isn't gonna perform. That You can just go to it and it will start and off you go and cross another border. Running costs um, are, are again very similar to uh, some of your larger performance bikes, muscle bikes. Group somewhere insurance wise in between the two. Uh, fuel economy is normally uh, a concern, as is emissions, um, because of the miles these bikes are expected to do. Uh, large fuel capacity, um, very reasonable, very good value for money again. Tourists tend to be reliable. There's not much point buying a bike for big miles and having it break down if only after a few. They should run forever, a bit like a crazed Jack Russell. They're sensible bike. If Ned Flanders was a biker, I bet he'd own a tourer. But don't let that put you off. Hustling one of these through a good set of bends is quite an achievement. They're sensible bikes for sensible people. <laughs>